Hello. Hey, hello. My name is Brian Jameson, and I'm a petroleum addict. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> My car has been sober for five years. <laughs> Driving around. Uh, we got a little problem on our hands. We're running out of oil. Sort of a problem. Yeah. So, uh, biodiesel can help. I'm going to talk to you about it today. It's only one part of many things that we have to do. It starts with renewable oil. And you can make biodiesel out of all of this stuff, including some really strange things like sewage. Pepper. For real. Uh, <laughs> So here's how you make it. You take renewable oil, you add some Everclear uh, or methanol, a little bit of lime, and you get biodiesel and soap. <laughs> what comes out of the tailpipe is the safest stuff you can imagine. It's even cleaner than electric cars, and that's because in Oregon, more than half of our electricity comes from non-renewable sources, like coal, not so good. And also, it doesn't add any greenhouse gases when you burn it out of the tailpipe because the stuff that comes out of your tailpipe makes plants, which they then use to make biodiesel. So nice and closed loop. No new greenhouse gases. We kind of need that. Wow, that's not the way that should look. But uh, it does show you. <laughs> Gotta love open source. Uh, so uh, this does show you how awesome the energy return is on biodiesel. Also, oh my god, there's supposed to be a lovely chart. Okay. Here's how much it costs to use biodiesel. Half a cent more per mile compared to gasoline. Is that an okay price to pay? Yeah! All right. People always say, is it going to void your warranty? I'm going to void my warranty. It can't void your warranty. It's illegal. It's a federally approved fuel. It will not void your warranty. Put it in. All right, there is one sort of bad thing about it. When it comes out of the tailpipe, it causes NOx. NOx is nitrogen oxide, not laughing gas, okay? Don't huff the fumes. <laughs> uh, what it does uh, is it contributes to smog. We've got technology that can fix that. Not all that big of a deal. People also wonder, hey, is biodiesel, if we grow it, are we gonna grow ourselves out of fuel? Yes, but we're not gonna do that. These are algae farms, and we're gonna use these to power ourselves. This is humanity's Best chance right here, algae. Seriously. Okay, I felt really good up until about two weeks ago because I've been using biodiesel for like five years, and I, it only stopped at me once in Pendleton when it was 17 degrees. So I went out like an idiot at 21 degrees and tried to start my car. Didn't start, but it didn't hurt. Um, okay, so here's how you convert. This is it for real. Three steps: buy a diesel. Step two, unscrew the fuel cap. Step three, put the fuel in. Optionally, you can put the cap back on. <laughs> if you have a car that's older than 1996, here's all you have to do. If you haven't done it already, just take a little bit of uh, rubber fuel line and replace it. It costs 20 bucks. Take someone like me 20 minutes with a screwdriver. It's pretty easy. The other thing, biodiesel is very, very clean, and it cleans out all the crap left behind from that evil petroleum you've been putting in your car. So when you run it, after about 20 hours, just change the fuel filter. That's it. It's not so bad. All right, blends. Uh, a lot of people uh, are grateful to live in Portland. I am. And that's because one of the reasons is 5% of all the diesel here has biodiesel in it. That's B5. Woo! That's pretty awesome. I like, yeah, I like by law. I like uh, B99 personally. Um, also, remember, vegetable is not biodiesel. You start with vegetable oil to get biodiesel. You can run your car off of it, but it will avoid your warranty, and it's awful. If you ever used, like, waste vegetable oil in your car, it's stinky. Yucky stuff. Um, all biodiesel is not equal. There's some morons out there who are trying to cut down rainforests in order to plant palm trees to make biodiesel. Don't buy from them. Find out where your biodiesel is coming from. Make sure it's locally prison. Uh, I think it's the kittens. <laughs> Biodiesel can be a little bit hard to find, but you can blend in regular petroleum and the only thing you're going to hurt, uh, well it won't be your car, it'll be other things. So, last thing I want to say is, 
This is one of the easiest things that you guys can do to make a serious difference. It's super easy. So please join me. Go buy these.